I just got to this interesting little park that has different assortments of flat bars and pole jams and stuff along the footpath of this park. Now this isn't like a playground area or anything, it's literally just a random park that has a footpath that goes all the way down to the shops, but they've built three different obstacles here that you can skate, but we're nowhere near a skate park. So I'm going to have a little session on all these random little things. I've actually been here before years ago, so it's, it's super unique and random, but I'm going to talk about why I think the council has put these spots at parks like this. But first I need to warm up, have a session on this kink rail here and then I'll work my way up the park and talk about why I think these things were put here. And I don't think anyone's scared to hit for a very long time so I'm gonna have to wax it up, make sure it's good to go. I've got a fresh stick of Charlie Horse wax too. I'll link their page below. This is the best skateboarding wax you can get. It's so sick. All right, much better. It doesn't feel good hopping out of the car to skate this first thing trying to warm up but We'll see what we can get. Don't expect too many gnarly tricks today. I don't even know how my legs are gonna go. Oh, all right, I can ollie. I'll try and board side first, but this crack is so awkward. Oh, Jesus, that counts. That's bad, ah. This would be kind of cool if you had this, like if you lived in one of these houses here, you could just come and skate a little flat bar. I can nolly lip slide. This part's pretty low. I don't really know what else to do. Maybe front 50 and then I'll skate uphill on the bigger side. Whoa, I'm not very good at front 50s. One more try. Oh, no, nah. one more. Oh my God. That was deadly. I suck at front fifties. One more try, cause this is getting dangerous. Oh my God, what am I doing? Oh, I'm just gonna take one of the ones I did already. I'm gonna try and skate the higher side now. I felt better. Much better height on this side. So last time I came here, I board slide this and then down and flat. I want to do that again today, but I also want to back 50 it. I'll try and crook the top part first. Okay, let's go board side all the way. Just gonna get over this crack quick. Oh, and get into this side. Yeah, it should work. Well, I know I've done it before, so it will work. <laughs> oh man, I don't know if you can see how awkward this is. It's only like from here to here is the space I have. But I need to get into this area first. I'm pretty much like have my toe side wheels riding along the crack, so I've got enough room to hit it. All right, that's the secret. Oh, there we go. Oh my God, I felt so bad. Felt like I was falling the whole time. Gotta clean that one up. <laughs> I'll take that, I'll take it. Felt like as I hit the, the flat bottom here, I was gonna shoot out, but I just stuck to it, landed it. I'm taking that one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to back 50 because the angle is just too thin. Even on that board side, I felt like I was trying to ollie over the top of it. It wasn't really like a backside board. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get the right angle for 50. And it's getting so hot out here, so I'll go and skate the other obstacles. This looks like it's starting to get shady, so I might come back to this for the back 50. So that's the kink rail I just skated, and if you follow the path all the way up here, that's the next obstacle there. Then we'll go to the pole jam. And then we'll see if we can come back for the back 50 on this thing. So this next obstacle is pretty sick. It's like a square flat bar on this side or like a ledge. And then it's got like a wally part, but this side has a wall on it. So it's like a, I don't even know what to call this, like a wedge rail type of thing. It's pretty cool. I'm pretty sure all I've done is like come uphill and front board it this way and then drop in. I don't really remember if we did anything else on this. We'll see what we get on this. I'd like to do that front board and then drop in again. That was cool. It felt really good, so. I need to make sure I can skate as well as I used to, so I need to see if I can get that again. Damn. This really hasn't been skated much lately. 
I don't think we're gonna be grinding this thing today. Maybe a crook, because I can pinch it. I don't even know if anyone's been here besides like me and my mates that I know, that I came with. It is in a random little park though. I don't know if people even know this is here. That's better. Whoa, that crack's big on this side. I guess I'll try and board side the whole thing. I don't know if I want to try and crook it. I'm not sure how well it's going to grind. Oh, pinch grind seem all right. Yeah, I'll try crook after board side fakie. Whoa, that crack's big. Give it a little crook next. All right, I think it'll grind. Wasn't sure if I should commit my weight into it. If it was just gonna grab. I think we're good. Yeah, that's sweet. Oops, <laughs> wrong way. That actually felt good. Yeah, front board. And then drop in is the goal. Might be harder to roll away because this crack is pretty big. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Oops, I <laughs> went too far. Damn, that'll be sick. I don't know how I could do that, but like front board into that. Dreaming. Oh, that was it. Whoops. No. Oh, that was it. Oh. All right, we're getting there. This is also much harder than I remember. Oh, I was going for that one. Oh no. What happened there? <laughs> that was it. Damn. Oh, come on. Robbery. Yes. That was so much harder than I thought it was gonna be. So street skating has been a thing since the beginning of skateboarding. There were no skate paths after all when skateboarding was invented. So there was no actual designated places for skateboarders to go and skate. And no matter how many skate parks are built and how many skaters have access to these skate parks, street skating is always gonna be such a core and fundamental part of skateboarding. And in this day and age, society knows what street skating is. So when companies are designing buildings, they factor in skateboarding and street skating and have to design the architecture in a way that has skate stoppers or is unskatable. Now think about why the council would put random little obstacles for you to skate in a park like this. It's away from any buildings and shopping centers. It's in a quiet area. It's just a nice parkway that joins one area to the shopping center. So in my opinion, what the council is thinking is there's skate parks here. If people don't want to skate the skate parks and they prefer street skating, why don't we put actual obstacles that we would put at a skate park, but out in street spots, but in nice little parks like this where nothing will get damaged and no one's going to get harassed. So in their mind, they think putting skatable elements out in the streets like this will deter us and stop us from going to to the local shops or the local buildings and skating the spots that are there and damaging their property. This is all speculation in my opinion, but I feel like there is some truth to my opinion. I'm obviously a skateboarder. I'm on this side where we are damaging property whenever we go street skating, we're trespassing and we're damaging people's property. That's not why we go and do this. There's a different reason that drives us to go street skating and the damage and the trespassing and everything that comes along with it is more of a byproduct from street skating, which I want to talk about a little bit more in depth in another video going into why skateboarders like street skating skating rather than skate parks. So looking at a council or a business person's point of view, putting these skatable elements out in the streets will make us skaters think that we're actually street skating and it's keeping us away from the buildings and the shopping centers where the actual street spots are. Obviously, I don't think this is working because no one comes to skate this area. No one even knows it exists. And even if they do, they might come and muck around like I am today, but they're not gonna come and film like proper street clips here. It's basically like a skate park in the streets, like a street park. I don't see this as a street spot at all. So that's why I think the council are doing this 
because there's a lot of different areas. I'm in the Gregory Hills area. I don't think I've mentioned that. But around the Gregory Hills, Oran Park kind of area, there's a lot of skatable spots that are in the streets that were built to skate. So I feel like when this new area was built, they tried to tackle the street skateboarding side of things and build. They've got a nice Oran Park skate park there, but they've also got all of these street elements scattered around the greater Gregory Hills Oran Park area. And there are also a lot of good skate spots in Oran Park that are not meant to skate. But obviously we're more drawn to skating those spots because they're actual street spots. So I don't think the plan of the council and the business owners of putting all these skatable spots out in the streets is actually working. But they are still fun and that's just my opinion on why these spots exist and why they are scattered out in the streets like this. So let me know what you guys think. Do you agree with my theory? Do you agree with my opinion? Or do you have another reason why you think these skatable objects are out in the streets like this? I'd love to hear your opinion below so let me know. Now the third and final spot at this park that I've personally never skated before because I only learned how to cross lock back 50s a couple of years ago. So last time I come here, I didn't know how I was able to do that pole jam. So I didn't bother. So let's head up to the long pole jam and see if I can figure it out today. So this is the last obstacle up at the top of the park here. We're pretty far away from the first two obstacles, but yeah, this is tucked all the way at the top of the park here. But this is so random. Like you don't even see this kind of stuff at skate parks. The closest thing I've seen, and it's just a skate park that opened last year, is the one at Olds Park Skate Park. It's like a pole jam, but it has a rounded part. That one has like, you can't even hit it if you want to hit it from this side because there's a straight part here. So I don't know who designed this, but it's still kind of cool. So I'm loving that this one's up in the shade, but I still have to come uphill for some run up. But yeah, I've actually never hit this thing. So I definitely want to get a pole jam 50 at least all the way or mostly to the way of the top and then pop off or whatever. But let's see if we can pole jam 50 this and complete the three obstacles that are here. Yeah, this thing always intimidated me because I couldn't cross lock my 50s properly and I'm horrible at front 50. So I didn't know how to actually pole jam this long because it's more of a ride on rail rather than a pole jam. But let's test it out. I'll see if I can do a little grind and then just pop off and like slowly work my way to the top, hopefully. Oh, I did not plan to come back down, but I feel like I need to do that now. Yes, I wouldn't need as much speed as I thought, but I think I need to go up as far as I can and come back down switch because that would have felt so sick if I just did that. But we'll see, I'm getting ahead of myself already. What? I'm going to bite off more than I can chew, but I got to the top so easily then that it would be so sick to 50 up and then like 5 -0 down. I've never done anything like that and I can't even fly over rails, but if I have enough speed, I feel like I can just like slash down it. Damn, that'll be sick. I'm getting so far ahead of myself right now. Oh, I could do that. I could so do that. Oh, that was so hit. I took my feet off because I was scared. If I don't chicken out this time, I should be able to do this. I don't know. <laughs> All right, full commit this try. 100%. That felt so cool. I'm actually so hyped on that. I've never done anything like that before. So I feel like the next thing to do, which I wasn't even planning on, I wasn't planning on that either, but try and grind as far up as I can go and then like switch 50 back down. I feel like that's the only other thing I could do on that. It would be sick if they joined this to the ground, like this angle continued. So you could pole jam both ways. You probably still could. No, I don't know. Go a little slower on this one. I don't want to go over the top. <laughs> that's actually so fun. I'll see if I can get like as close to the top as I can possibly get. A little bit faster. Oh, should I try that? You reckon? I don't know what I'm asking. You can't answer me at the moment, but grind up, rock the fakie back down. It would be so sick. Can't believe I've never skated this thing before. This is way more fun than the rest of the things here. All right, let's see how high we can get. Oops. Oh no. Oh my God. I honestly did not mean to do that. Instinct just kicked in and I went back down. What is wrong with me? That could have been so deadly. I can't believe this. This thing's actually so fun. I'll try and get as far to the top then I can go. Like grind as far up and then come back switch. That's the one. Kind of want to try this one more time. <laughs> I'm going to do that again. That's just so fun and so sick. It was cool that I got one, but at least like meaning to do it and doing it will feel better than just accidentally doing it. Feels like not that bad actually. I'm still a bit scared. 
Oh my God, that was deadly. I tried to have my front foot on the nose so I could transfer over easier, but let's not do that again. <laughs> That's so sick. One more, I wanna get a bit of a cleaner one. And there we have it. Another thing that convinces me that these are purposely made to be skated is the architecture of them. The nature of street skating is the architecture is made in a certain way that makes you want to skate it. And all of these obstacles here are super unique. They're not like just a basic flat bar or a basic ledge or something. There's a kink rail, there's a ledge with a bank on one side, and then there's this long ride on pole jam. These kinds of things in the streets would be so enticing for people to want to go and skate and film on. So I feel like that shows even more that the council built these things to try and entice you to skate these in the streets rather than going to the shops or other buildings to skate the spots that are there. So I don't know how much it costs them to plant all of these obstacles in this park, but it definitely would be cheaper than the repairs to a damaged building from us skaters damaging the property there. So if that is true and my opinion is correct, they still wasted their money because people are always going to street skate. I still want to go street skating. I'm not just going to come and skate these things. These were fun, but I don't know if I'll come back here again. I just wanted to have a fun session, hit these things and make a video about it. So it's cool that they did this, but if that was the reason why they did this, then it's not going to deter skaters from actual street skating. So Either way, I had a super fun session here. That pole jam thing was so fun. The tricks that I just did, I could not expect that I could do that, but I'm super happy that I did do them. Also, I don't know if I updated you guys. I've gone back to my 9.4 inch shell razor deck. I already mentioned, if you guys are following my journey in the board madness that I'm having, that I'm gonna set up the 9.4 inch Space Egg 2 next, which is the same dimensions as this. But I'm gonna redrill the wheelbase of the top and move my truck up, 0.375. So this is a 14.5 inch wheelbase. That's gonna end up being a 14.875 inch wheelbase. So I wanna get used to this board on its own first and then the next board I ride is going to be that board with the extended wheelbase so I can make a direct comparison of how different it actually feels from the original 14.5 to the 14.875 that I'm going to extend my next board to so that's why if you've noticed I'm riding this board and I didn't mention anything about it that's why I'm riding this so let me know down below why you think these obstacles are here do you agree with my theory do you have another theory I'd love to open this up and hear what you guys think about this so make sure you drop a comment below and let me know and check out the heroin stingy thingy board video I did here explaining my madness and why I'm trying to extend my wheelbase and make the perfect setup for myself. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.